SP2 hybridization part one, looking at the carbon 12 atom in its ground state, looking at the electronic configuration of the electrons in the 1s2 orbital, that's this little round orbital here, this little s mean sharp. It has an up electron and down electron, which is a plus half, minus half, or spin up, spin down. There it is, there's one, and there's the other one right there. In the 2s2, that's the bigger sphere, or the bigger sharp orbital, it's got the same thing. It's got a spin up, spin down electron, okay? In the 2px, this one right here, we have one spin up, and in the 2py, we have one spin up. Okay, and then looking at the nucleus itself, we can see in the inner cluster is uh, six neutrons. The outer points uh, would be protons. Uh, along the polar axis, up shooting out the top, we have angular momentum, capital L. The angle of precession is theta, right there. And then down here, we have the magnetic dipole moment mu. So if you can imagine this, the polar axis spinning like this. In, in the of the nucleus going around like that okay like a spinning top or a spinning jack now what we're doing is uh, it's spinning it's it's inducing its own mag uh, electromagnetic field or ma magnetic yeah electromagnetic field and so it's generating its own electromagnetic field and we're applying an external electromagnetic field B naught so so what it does is it, it aligns and orders itself in this external magnetic field, B naught, and uh, so we can we, we can now position them, order them, and align them in a way that they can transmutate into completely new orbitals. And we're going to look at that in part two. Thanks for watching.